good morning dear students uh, today we will continue with the same z transforms problems uh, the problem is like this uh, find the z transform of unit step sequence and plot its roc so they have not mentioned any equation in this question they are just asking z transform of unit step sequence look at this unit step sequence and we know that what is that unit step sequence or unit step function this is what unit step sequence this is the basic sig uh, signal unit step sequence and its range is 0 to infinity and its amplitude is 1 so 0 to 1 and given is unit step sequence or unit step function x of n is equal to u of n and we have we are having a formula of z transform that is x of z is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n into z to the power of minus n and what is that x of n x of n is equal to u of n x of n in place of x of n you just write u of n and what is its range its range is 0 to 1 so in place of minus infinity you write 0 and infinity will remain as it is because it is the end of that signal infinity and u of n's amplitude is 1 that is z to the power of minus n so we will get this is in the form of alpha to the power of n so alpha to the power of n for n is equal to 0 to infinity alpha to the power of n can be written as 1 divided by 1 minus alpha so in that form you just write down so alpha is now the alpha is z 1 divided by 1 minus alpha 1 inverse and you operate this you get z divided by that is 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by z this can be written like this and after that so 1 divided by z minus 1 divided by z that is equal to z divided by z minus 1 this is what the equation is and or unit step function the ROC is outside the unit circle you draw a circle of you draw a circle of 1 that is diameter of 1 and hole is there at the 0 is there at 0 and ROC lies outside the unit circle this is what the ROC is this is about the first problem and the next problem it deals with the left sided sequence that is x of n is equal to 1 by 2 root to the power of n u of n minus 2 and this is the given that's what i have written and first next you write the formula generalized formula general formula x of z is equal to minus infinity to infinity that is summation minus infinity to infinity x of n to the power of minus n so in place of x of n you just write 1 by 2 whole to the power of n into u of n minus 2 this is what I did and the range the range is from 2 now the range changes from 2 to infinity that is this 2 to infinity 1 by 2 whole to the power of n z to the power of minus n so we we have not written u of n minus 2 but we have taken a range from that u of n minus 2 and this and that specifies the range the u of n specifies the range so 2 to infinity look at this now you take n outside common so this will be 1 by 2 z inverse whole to the power of n so and this is in the form of alpha to the power of n that is 2 to infinity 2 to infinity formula is alpha to the power of n divided by 1 minus alpha now this is alpha so alpha is alpha to the power of n 1 divided by 1 minus alpha n is 2 that's what I have, that's why I have written it as 2 1 divided by 1 by 2 z inverse divided by 1 minus 1 by 2 z inverse now you operate this you will get the final value so, uh, this step is nf this step is nf so if you want to proceed uh, you can operate the final step then you're going to get the last one now uh, find the roc so if you want to find the roc you keep 
in mind that the 1 by 2 z minus 2 z minus 1 by 2 so z minus 1 by 2 it is within the unit circle but the ROC lies outside the unit circle look at this this is a circle here it is a pole two poles are there 0 and 1 by 2 that is 0 and 1 by 2 this is ROC and these are the ROC lines which lies outside the unit circle So one more problem is there, this is on applications of the transform that is if I find the z-transform for the signal x of n is equal to 2 to the power of n u of n minus 1. This is also a similar problem, we just have to uh, write x of n value. Now x of n value will be 2 to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1. In place of x of n you write 2 to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1 and these will be the range. Look at this range, so that is minus infinity to infinity minus 1 because they have given minus n first and then minus 1 that's why you have to write minus 1 in the upper side that minus 1 minus infinity to minus 1 2 to the power of n to the power of minus n now you interchange the limits or ranges so if you interchange the ranges this will lose its signs those sign those limits or those ranges will lose its sign or will be in the opposite side so it's a plus will be minus and minus will be plus now take a minus and a n outside so we will get 2 into z power of minus 1 now if you interchange the sign of minus 1 will become 1 and minus infinity will become infinity and that's what I did here I have changed the ranges or I have interchanged the ranges 1 to infinity 1 to infinity again you follow the same procedure you look at the formula infinite sum formula this is what the infinite sum formula is 1 to infinity you get alpha divided by 1 minus alpha in place of alpha you write this is alpha in place of alpha you write 2 to the power of minus 1 into z then you get this and the ROC which lies inside the unit circle how it lies inside the unit circle because it gives the the power value of 2 not the, the z value of not the z value that's why it lies inside the unit circle and mod z is less than 2 that's why it is inside the unit circle this is what the ROC is